This is the 2001 Sunseeker 44 Camargue. And we'll just show you the port side. Gigantic sun pad on the bow. Gel coat looks to be in great shape. And a view from the starboard side. Once again, the large sun pad. And here's a shot of the starboard aft. Stepping aboard. And starting here in the aft on this 44 Sunseeker, you'll see a huge swim platform. And if I go ahead and move down below, you're going to see a deep reach ladder for getting out of the water. You're going to see your shower to hose off, also your water hookups. And if I move forward, it'll show you this large sun pad. And if I go ahead and just lift up here on gas assisted hinges, it pops right up. Showing you a tremendous amount of storage. Right now he has life preservers, anchors, extra fenders, plus his cable master controls are right there. Go ahead and push that back down and it's back to being a sun pad. And now let's move towards the entryway and you'll see your shore power right there. And that's a good time to talk about these teak decks. Just beautiful teak decks all throughout this top side. And as we enter the cockpit, you'll see this giant U-lounge seating. And then you have the sun pad in the aft. And that is just one configuration. And with one quick adjustment, the table is gone. And if I go ahead and I just pull on the backrest, there you have a very large sun pad, all facing aft for you and your guests to enjoy. And then with one quick adjustment, the backrest is in place, your U-Lounge seating has returned, and your table is in place. Just great thinking by Sunseeker, great transition in this cockpit. Now, of course, Sunseeker didn't forget to put storage underneath all these seats. And if we go ahead and we turn around, we have our wet bar area. Open up, and you have your top side grill, large sink, your ice maker, and your refrigerator. Moving forward, you will see... Plenty of seating to keep the captain company. And if I go ahead and flip around, that will show you our helm seat. And then our helm. Starting here at the top, you'll see your gauges all laid out there for easy viewing from the captain. Then you'll see your Garmin 5212 GPS map. Over next to that, you'll see your windlass. Down below, all your switches. Then you'll see your autopilot, your stereo controls move over here you'll see your bow thruster and then you'll see your fly-by-wire throttles then within easy reach of the captain is your VHF radio and now let's move into our cabin and let's give you a look around And let's start here in the salon. First, we have a very large couch centered in the salon. And of course, this table extends and retracts and above the couch. If I open up here, you're going to see a systems panel clearly labeled. Move to the center, open up here, and you have storage. And move to the next cupboard aft, and you have stereo plus generator controls. And we'll move all the way aft and open up here. And once again, systems, clearly labeled, organized display. And now if I go ahead and turn towards port, you're going to see just a very large galley. And let's go ahead and open up some of this galley. And let's move in for a closer look. 
above you'll see just a ton of cupboard space all the way around until you get to this microwave then we move down below and beneath these beautiful counters you'll see a large sink two burner stove and then your galley neatly closed up once again and below this counter space you're going to see cupboard and drawer storage cupboard storage and then a nice large refrigerator and if I go ahead and pull back that'll give you a good shot of this teak and holly flooring now if we turn towards aft that'll show us our closed door guest stateroom and you can see a very sizable guest stateroom and if I turn around it'll give you a good view of the closet and if I go ahead and open up here your guests have their own marine head and shower now moving through the salon that'll bring us all the way forward to our master stateroom now if you look in the center of this master stateroom you'll see just a very large berth then you're going to have storage on each side and if i go ahead and turn to the port side you'll see a flat screen tv if i move to the starboard you'll see your closets and then down below the berth you'll see a set of drawers and that will lead us to our master stateroom's head it's got a separate shower in it and that will lead us back through to the salon and now is the time of the video where I give a condition report and list opportunities for the new owner to make this boat even better uh, this is just a beautiful 2001 Sunseeker it certainly does not seem like a 2001 if you look around it seems very well cared for I mean if you look at the floors the counters the soft goods it just looks really beautiful the top side shows as well as the interior very bright teak decks look beautiful very well equipped wet bar with an ice maker and a refrigerator terrific thinking by Sunseeker on that transforming that cockpit from comfortable seating to a huge sun pad a well equipped and beautiful helm I mean the boat shows very well if I was going to go ahead and list opportunities to make this boat even better I really don't see much this boat shows much newer than 2001 everywhere you look everything seems to be in very nice condition the only thing I notice is it's missing a TV in the salon so somebody may want to add a nice flat screen TV in the salon there already are TVs in both the guest stateroom and the master stateroom but that's the only thing I saw that would be a good opportunity for the next owner to make this boat better. I believe this 44 is ready to cruise this weekend.